Hello, I am Minecraft Phenomo8, and this is episode number 86 of my series in which I will try to collect a billion iron ingots. In today's episode, we are going to start playing with a mod called Funky Locomotion. Now, what this mod does is it allows for automatic moving of uh, machines and blocks and other. Th Pretty much, you can automatically move things with this mod. So it's a really cool mod, and first we're just going to try to set up, uh, and I don't need that, I need one of these, I need a frame puller, or a frame push pusher and slider, uh, at least that's for me the easiest way to set one of these rigs up, and we will need, uh, Funky Locomotion uses uh, RF as well, so we're going to need some power. So I'm just going to grab an energy cell or two. Let's go ahead and grab two. And then we also need some redstone signal. So for that, I'm going to grab a timer. And we'll grab this one. And then a redstone block. So this mod is fairly simple. Oh my goodness, freeze. Freeze, freeze, freeze. Okay, so I actually want an angel block here. Because first off, let's demonstrate exactly what this mod can do. It's a really, really cool mod. And um, I'm not sure why those are any different than the regular ones. Oh, I see, because I have sides closed. So anyways. Yeah, they're there. If you use a wrench on these guys, it closes off certain sides. And we'll get to that later, exactly what that means. But for right now, let's just build a little simple moving rig. And then we're going to test it out and make sure it works. And then we're going to kind of expand on the idea. So first off, I, I want to use these blocks that I have changed from their default settings. just because when I put them back in my ME system or my applied energistic system, I want them to all be the same. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we'll X these sides out. And I did not change those, but that's okay. So I think we'll do one more, one more row here. And then we'll build our little movement our movement, uh, our drive, I guess I should call it. So I'm also going to need, I believe one or two flux duct. So how this works is that if I put a frame pusher and let's get into flight mode and right now it's set up to push this way right now it has no power. So if I go ahead and put actually that, that's not good at all. Let's get a button. Because right now the timer just won't work out very well. If we get a button, we push it, nothing happens. Normally if you apply redstone to these things, they will push frame blocks so long or as long as they can. So let's uh, let's power this bad boy. So power out the back, which is cool. As we see here, if we look at the uh, up at the top of the screen, it says RF 200,000 or 256,000 RF. So that means it's powered. Let's hit the button. Boom, it moves the frames. So that's cool. And if we set this up correctly, we can move these frames. Now, there is a way to take this uh, at least one step further here. And let's use the frame slider next. The frame slider can do the same thing here. And if I'm holding, I'm holding sh left shift and I'm right clicking here, that ensures that the blue stays on the bottom and the blue is the uh, the side that will move the frames. So if I don't hold shift, it just kind of moves it wherever. So right now I'm holding shift, I'm right clicking and I want it to move this way, which is perfect. And let's set up our power supply for this guy again. And uh, actually I want to rotate this. So let's do it out the back again. And then let's hit the button so it slides everything except itself forward now this is where the second frame pusher comes in 
because I want to put this frame pusher here and I want to face it forward. And then in addition to that, I also want to do this. Now, the last step of this is to put a redstone block here. Nope, 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 nope. Hang on. It's because I did not set this up uh, quite in the right order. First of all, this needs power. Now, this is where the redstone block will go. If I do this, it pushes everything except itself forward. Now, when I go to hit this, it should slide. Oh, I, di I didn't do that right. Uh, actually, that did get some power. So that works. That works just fine. It doesn't look the best. But as we see, it slides everything forward. And then the frame pusher here pushes this forward. And it actually did not get power. Because it was at 255,500 RF. Now it's down 250 RF. And uh, it can't get power because that's blocking it. So what I actually need to do to make this drive actually work right is to A, put this over here and then put this right there. And so it should slide everything forward except itself putting the frame pusher beside it and then uh, repeating the process. Now what we're going to do is we are going to flip this around so that the output is toward the frame slider. We're going to set this timer here to be 80, which is every four seconds we should see it slide. And it's not, oh shoot, that's because I Okay, I know what's going on here. Okay, so what we need... First off, we need to set this to what we actually want it. It wasn't updating in time is what was going on. I would put in 8, but it was already moving, and so the title entity was already being moved at that point. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's see if it works out right. Looks like it is. So every 4 seconds, that thing should move forward. Cool. So this is kind of the base concept of uh, moving a, a frame structure. And let's, let's get rid of this real fast. And then let's add a few things to see exactly what all we can put on here. Obviously, we have a few tile entities here. We have a uh, energy cell and some cryostabilized flux duct. And then obviously the frame pusher and slider are also tile entities. And we can actually put quite a few different things on here and it will be able to push and pull them. So I wouldn't want to put a draconic reactor on here though. Just saying. Um, <laughs> but let's see, what can we do? Actually, um, I want to build a machine that I haven't built before just to see what exactly it does. And that is, I think, called something like a vertical miner or something like that from actually additions. And let's see here. Vertical digger is what it's called. Okay, block of redstone, iron casing, drill, empowered void crystals. How do I get those? I want this. Do I have any of this? I'm not sure if I have any of this or not. I don't have any of the good stuff. So let's figure out how to make this real fast. So we need coal, flint, stone, ink. Coal. Actually, was it charcoal? My memory is so bad sometimes. It's char charcoal, flint, stone, ink. So charcoal... Flint, stone, ink. A lot of ink sacks, my goodness. And so we can run down here, and I never got rid of this system because I figured at some point maybe I would use it again. Looks like I was right. 
So let's go ahead and set this bad boy up. And I'm not I'm not really sure if this will work like I want it to. I've never used this machine before, but let's try it. Whatever. Come on, infusion. At least these things don't use very much power, so this setup should work for quite a while. Using batteries, not actually having it hooked up to my energy system. Come on. Come on. Today would be nice. Boom. Cool. Now let's get back to it. Vertical digger. Do I have any drills automated? I don't think I do. Drill. Drill core. I think I have some manure crystal. What? I don't have Inori crystals. Okay, I have the not blockified versions. I think I need four of these guys. So let's get back to it. Vertical digger. I probably need some basic coils here. But I do have them automated, and I thought I did. I wasn't was not 100% sure. Okay, so I have that automated, so we can go back to the drill. I don't know if I have the advanced coils. I do have some I have some diamantine here. Let's get some more Inori crystals. I need three more. And then let's try that drill again. And cool, I actually do have enough. So now we can do the vertical digger, I think. Maybe. Oh, it's because I'm not on the ground. That's why I'm floating away. Okay, so let's go in here. Make me one of these. Now, um, yeah, let's not spoil exactly what we're doing yet. Let's just take this thing. Let's get an energy cell. I'm going to assume it's going to need some power. Let's just grab this guy. Actually, I already have one. Duh. Okay, so let's also grab a chest just in case it needs an inventory. I have no idea if it does or not. Let's run over here. And then it, it definitely does need power. I see an energy bar at the bottom left. Okay, I just want to see how far down this thing goes. And I probably shouldn't have put it next to water. That was probably a bad idea. That totally doesn't work. So what I'm going to do real fast is try to dewater this thing. Did I miss a couple blocks of water? Okay, this vertical digger actually seems to do a fairly good job. But obviously I need uh, some item ducts here. So let's, uh, let's get some real fast. I need to get closer to my system. So I need two item duct to test this out and a servo. Okay, so it is stopped, so I don't even need this. Or is that a power? It's out of inventory space, so it's probably gonna continue here. 
after we do this. Yes. Okay, so it has an only mining ores or a mining everything version. So let's just stick with mining everything. And let's see how far it goes. I am going to cut away real fast and I'm just going to wait for this thing to complete. And then I will be back to see exactly uh, the progress that it made. And here we are with the final result. It went all the way to bedrock, which is exactly what I wanted to see, to be honest. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rip all this stuff up. And uh, I'm going to grab this. No! So look at this. Nice old bedrock. And what we're going to do is... I'm going to put a torch there, and then I'm going to cover this hole. Um, and in addition, I'm going to re... Redo this edge here, just to make it look nice. And then, uh, yeah, I can do this off camera real fast, and then we can get back to... Uh, Get back to planning for the future, I guess. I don't think we're actually going to be able to set some, anything real up this episode, but uh, we're definitely proving concept here, and we've got something with this vertical miner thing, so I'm going to be back after I have this hole covered up. Okay, now I have that uh, hole covered up, and I have, I have a few more vertical diggers here. Now we're going to build a little proof of concept rig. And uh, we are going to need some more frame blocks. And I realize I never went over exactly what you need for the frame blocks. It's actually just a bunch of invar. And for the frame pushers, it, you actually do need some endurium. So it gets, I mean, it gets a little expensive for some people. And uh, I use a frame slider as well. And it uses some signalum along with a frame pusher. And so that's not a big deal. Um, especially for someone like me. So let's grab a bunch of frame blocks here. And I'm going to... And when I say a bunch, I'm, I mean, I want to grab quite a few here. So let's get uh, four stacks. Should be plenty. And now we're going to have to find a remote part of the desert. And we're going to test some stuff out here. So where is remote enough? I don't want to be able to see this hole I'm, I'm hopefully about to create. So let's go right here this will be a good spot so what i'm going to do first off is i'm going to actually i'm going to build up a couple blocks here i'm not going to use this angel block i don't really need it so let's build a frame structure and i want it to be 15 wide so that's five six seven eight Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that should be what we want. Now on the bottom here, um, I'm not sure if this is actually going to start or not. I think it will because I think it has power already. So it's going to start doing its thing. And then I want to place the other two vertical diggers. I apologize for all the noise here. Let's see. Maybe I can shut this thing off. Does that stop it? It does. Cool. Okay, so apparently there's like a cave down here. And these people are not happy with me. Okay, so. Let's, let's build this thing out. Um, we have our... Three frame or uh, our three vertical diggers here. We have an energy block, and we're going to need. We're gonna need this something like right here. Uh, we're gonna need outs on either side and out the back here. Actually, that won't even work very well. So let's get rid of that for right now, and let's get out our our wand. Let's wand a few more. Um, I'm not sure if I actually do need it that big. So let's put this guy right here. 
Um, it only needs to be out in the back. And I grabbed some Mystic Nail and played an Impulse item backs here. Because those will be very, very useful here. Hey, now. Well, that's not what we wanted. Okay, so what I'm going to do is... I think my nuclear plant is over here somewhere. Which means I have access to using my wireless terminal. Because I have another wireless access point over here. So let's grab some, let's grab a torch actually, redstone torch. And that is because actual editions machines uh, typically have a couple different modes. And I'm hoping that that is the case here. And let's just, just because, let's grab some more redstone blocks here. And then we'll fly back over to my machine. And let's see here. Yeah, that didn't do nothing. You were supposed to stop, sir. So let's go ahead and use our redstone blocks. And good. Okay, so that guy stopped. This guy, um... I don't know why he stopped. But he magically stopped. Maybe? No, he definitely wasn't out of power. Anyways, let's not get too concerned with that right now. So let's set up the rest of this. Obviously, these things have to have a place for the items to go. And actually, you know what? Let's uh, let's set this up so where it looks decent-ish. And then this will have a tier three storage module. And let's put some servos on these impulse signal and plated impulse item ducts. Um, nearest first will work fine because there's only one valid inventory after I get done with all of this. Same thing here. And same thing here. So, theoretically, this thing is up and ready to go. But we don't have the movement mechanism. And so let's set that up. So, okay, so we actually have the blue on the right part. We just need to shift right click again until we get it to go forward, which is how we want this to be set up. Um, our timer is definitely going to have to be quite a bit longer than that. Let's go with something like, uh, what would, what would five minutes be? So 60 times 20 would be 1,200, I think. Yes, 1,200 is a minute, and then times 5 would be 6,000. So let's set this to be 6,000. That's every 5 minutes, uh, if I did my math right, and I did that in my head, so probably not, but we'll, we'll find out. So we'll put this right here. We'll set it to be pushing that way. Um, we will need a... redstone block right here that is cool and then we'll need our power supply which can be right here it can be out in the back and this will be fine so now let's get rid of these redstone blocks Okay, so good. I just wanted to make sure that they're actually working. Um, in an ideal world, because these things dig out 5x5 five five here, I would actually have it pulse 5 times. And there's probably a way to do that, but um, I, I would say there's definitely a way to do that if you're, if you're good enough. But uh, I'm going to have to look into that. That's, that'll probably take a little while to set up. So what we're going to do now is we're going to rotate this thing. And then um, we're going to cheat here. And we're going to use a button real fast. And we're going to move this thing. Um, just to see if it actually moves like it should. Okay. 
Okay, that's interesting. Okay, so it, it definitely did start going down here. So, uh, basically, uh, this concept does work. Um, we're probably going to have to figure out some of the kinks of it. But it did move everything. It seems like everything is working. I'm getting a whole bunch of crap here. Um, yeah. We're, we're going to need a power supply. Because an energy cell just won't hold up for very long. But overall, this system works. So... I think we're going to go ahead and use something that resembles this in the next episode or one of the next episodes anyways. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take the timer away in the energy cell. We know this works. That's that's all this is here for. And so let's go home. So in today's episode, I managed to build a proof of concept uh, minor mobile using the mod funky locomotion um, with this mod I should be able to set up an automatic mining rig that will move around the world as I dictate via redstone now something weirds going on I think I know what's going on it's weird weird stuff with chunk loading Whenever I go out of my chunks, it acts strangely sometimes. Or not whenever, but sometimes it acts strangely. Which is unfortunate. Because that means things aren't happening. But anyways, let's, um... Yeah. Whatever. I'll deal with that later. As of right now, I have 425 million iron ingots, which is awesome. Signing off, I am Minecraft Phenom 08, and I will see you next time.